Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. We're going to start off on Stormhill Shack, and then we're going to travel up to uh, Warmaster Shack. In order to get this item, you have to defeat the Bell Bearing Hunter. Uh, he is a pretty tough enemy, uh, so if you're low level, you may want to hold off on this until you uh, level up a little bit. My character was level 69 when I uh, defeated him. Once you get to the War Master Shack, you're going to talk to the knight and go through all those dialogue options. Uh, that's what I did. Um, and then after you're done talking to him, back out and you're going to have to rest um, at the site of grace. I did it until um, nightfall. I had to do this twice actually to get this the trigger. Um, it's hit or miss. Um, I've done it where he spawned after I did it once and this this time I had to do it twice so just keep that in mind if he doesn't appear once it's done correctly um, the knight will disappear and walk forward toward the opening of the shack and the boss battle will start if you're quick you can get three or four hits in on him to trigger the um, execution sequence Once the execution uh, sequence is over, I'd recommend running and not trying to go for the hit like I do. Because I don't know if you can deal damage to him uh, when he's on the ground. It didn't work for me. So as you can see, I uh, did the battle on horseback because, well, he has quite the range on his attacks. Uh, he can actually, like, cast a sword towards you. And uh, if it hits you, it hurts quite a bit. There you have it. Once he's defeated, you get the Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. Now you're going to want to take the Bell Bearing to the Round Table Hold and give it to the Twin Maiden Husk. Doing so will give you access to buy uh, thin and heavy breast bones from them which will require runes to purchase. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.